For centuries, people claimed the Bible held the blueprint of the universe. Six days of creation, a world only a few thousand years old, a first man made from mud, a first woman from his rib, a single couple who birthed the entire human race, heaven above the dome, held beneath the ground. It was neat, it was simple, it was wrong. Because when science arrived, not as an enemy, but as a method of seeing more clearly, the Bible's world cracked apart. Every discovery stretched the horizon wider than scripture could hold until the old stories collapsed under the weight of evidence. This isn't a story of science versus faith in the abstract. It's the story of how science destroyed the Bible's worldview by replacing it with something bigger, deeper, and truer. Geology and physics broke the timeline. Evolution dismantled the handcrafted human. Genetics exposed the myth of a single couple. Mythology revealed Yahweh's borrowed roots, astronomy, flattened heaven and hell into metaphors. The Bible's categories made sense to flat earth thinkers staring at the sky and digging into the soil. But the universe we now see is vast, multidimensional, and indifferent to our myths. Religion remains bound to its local metaphors. Science universalizes. And in that expansion, the Bible's fragile framework was undone. Let's start with the beginning. The Genesis narrative doesn't just tell a story. It sets a timeline a six-day creation, and a genealogy from Adam to Noah to Abraham. These were meant to give a complete chronology of the world, 